If you're making images in Leonardo AI and find this interface to be just a bit too much because you haven't learned the ropes yet, here is a great way you can start by using real-time generation. The way it works is if I head back to the app, I can come down, there's a real-time gen section. And if I click that, I can come in here and actually just start generating images with a much simpler interface. But with one bonus, I can see exactly what's happening with every little change. This is a great way to learn your way around creating images in Leonardo AI to get a feel for what works. So I type in a prompt down the bottom here. So I've typed in a mutant orc with slimy green skin and already it's got an image for me. So a few different things to look at here. It's a very simple interface is if I say add something there such as a style. So I go comma anime style then it will actually adjust that live. If I remove the E from style, it will still make those adjustments. Every time you type or change, it actually makes the adjustment here on screen. I'm gonna get rid of that and go back to where we were. And now you've got a few different settings. So we've got some sliders here, which will allow you to adjust the style as well as some profiles as well. So if I say take a look at coloring book and crank that up to full, I get more of an outline, more like a coloring book style. And I can adjust these to see what kind of style I want. If I want it to look more like a kid's illustration, I can crank that up. If I want the folk art illustration back, I can start to make adjustments to the style of image it creates. I can even go to tune and anime, bring that up, and I can basically adjust these to try and get the type of image I want. So at the moment, that's a pretty cool image. Uh, I'm gonna bring the kid's illustration back a little bit. So you can see how we get this pretty cool nifty image, but it's not. we're not just stuck with that image based on, if we have, if we like this style of image, but we still want to see some minor differences. We can adjust the prompt, but we can also change things like the profile down the bottom here. So at the moment we're on dynamic and these are all alchemy style profiles. I can change that across, so say anime to get this look, cinematic to get a more realistic look. And this also is not the final product. And I'll show you how to fix that up in a minute, but I can go through and find something like photography. You can experiment with any of these to see what kind of results you can get. I'm gonna go back to cinematic because I like that real lifelike look that it gives it. That looks pretty cool. Now I wanna also mention that down here you'll see random seed. If I click the little arrow here, you can see I have a seed number here. I'm gonna copy it because what the seed is, is the starting point of the image. Essentially, it'll create a random seed whenever you're creating images and it sort of builds an image from that. If you are able to create identical settings and an identical prompt and use the same seed, you should always get an identical result. But I've copied this seed to sort of demonstrate, I can go random and it will change the seed to something else. Random again, and I can change the seed to something else. That's a pretty cool image, but if I come back in and remove this seed and paste the seed I copied, it goes back to our original image. So that's a handy sort of thing to know if you find that there's actually something you like, but you wanna keep trying random seed, you can, you can copy different seeds for reference. Now, when you're actually done with this, there's more we're gonna to touch on after as to what you can do with this. But when I'm ready, up the top here, I can choose to upscale and that will refine and give it a better look. I'm gonna go normal upscale mode and press that. And I have to go to my personal feed, at least at the time of recording to uh, see that, or I can go to creative upscale mode and press that. And we get two different upscales that are based on this image. So now if I go up the top here to exit real-time gen, I go into my personal feed and you can see our final images here. I click on this one and click on it again to bring it up you can see the detail and how sharp it looks. So by using real-time gem, we get a good sort of reference for what it is that we're doing, but the final image is much more polished, much sharper, and to be honest, what Leonardo AI is producing these days, I think is among the best AI art available today. So this is the first, this is the high normal, if I can come back, this is the creative upscale, which looks pretty awesome. But from here, we also have a bunch of settings. We can go image to image, so we can pop this image into image guidance and actually create art with that as a reference. We can go image to motion and create a video. So if I click that, you can see the source image and we can actually replace that with a different image. We can change the motion strength, make it public and generate to see what results we get. There's a few other things I noticed also. If I go into my image generation area, I can I also have all of these other options here. I can unzoom the image to create more space around it. So that actually just adds a bit more background, a bit more space around the image. I can remove the background. So I click remove background for one. I've got more upscalers here that I can work with. 
and I can edit it in Canvas and do a lot more with it. So that is a pretty cool feature, a great way to learn how to use the image generation and get an idea for what kind of looks and what kind of uh, image you're gonna get. And don't forget, you can also sort of use it as a reference, you know, create more images just in this area here. So changing the aspect ratio, you can find that same prompt, same profile, and have a play with it from there. And if you're looking for those elements, you can add them in here. So coloring book, folk art, kids art, tools and anime, we can add those in and adjust them in a similar way that we did. So that's sort of the more technical side when you get to this image generator here. But otherwise, I hope you have a lot of fun with that. Real-time generation is a really awesome tool. It's a lot of fun, even if you are an advanced user, it's a lot of fun to see what you're actually gonna get. So check it out. There is a link in the description below for Leonardo AI. Uh, highly recommend getting on board with this platform because I think it's gonna be pretty much the platform. For my, from where I am standing, it is up the top there, I'm a huge mid-journey fan, but this is really starting to grab my attention. Often, in a lot of ways, it has a lot of things mid-journey doesn't have, but also matches the image quality. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving a like. Otherwise, see you next time, and I hope you have a great day.